Hi again, hockey fans. Welcome to another jam-packed edition of CCHA Now. My name is Ben Holden. Thanks for joining us this week here on the show. A lot coming up. We'll look at some of the great plays of the week. We'll tell you who the players of the week are, and we'll also have a tribute and a look back at the great career of Charles Lefty Smith, who passed away last week, who started the Notre Dame hockey program. We'll also look ahead of the week ahead and a lot more coming up on this edition of CCHA Now. We start first with a great weekend for the Miami Redhawks. They took two games at Michigan State. Michigan, Bowling Green, they were among the teams along with Northern Michigan who picked up points, valuable points on home ice over the weekend. And Ferris State and Notre Dame, they also did the job in non-conference games this past weekend in the CCHA. We'll get you started this week though with a look at our plays of the week, the seven best plays we found from around the CCHA over the weekend. We'll start in Big Rapids where it was a monster weekend for the Bulldogs and a huge weekend for Jordy Johnson here cashing in for his third goal against Colgate. Our number six play, well it's our number six plays, two shootout goals, Mark Rodriguez a big time effort against the Ohio State Buckeyes and then Ryan Carpenter with one of the prettiest shootout goals we've seen so far this season. Big weekend for Chris Bergeron and the Bowling Green Falcons. In at number five, Frank Slabowski. They call him the Big Slabowski in Kalamazoo. A dynamite save here, flexing with a goal pad on JT Brown of Minnesota Duluth. Unfortunately, the Broncos lost that game on Friday, 4-1. to one. In at number four, Dominic Minardo, one of the best players in the conference, though denied by Adam Janicek, who got an emergency start for Michigan on Saturday, and that one early on in period two. That's our number four play of the week. In at number three, we go back to the shootout up at Marquette. Scott Grenham with a big time stop in the shootout on Mitch Jones, using his head, maybe his ear a little bit as well. That's our number three play of the week. Number two, Jimmy Mullen takes it behind the net, walks out in front and goes top shelf for the OT winner in Miami's 2-1 victory against Michigan State on Friday. Number one play of this past week around the CCHA, Nick McParland, sixth round of the shootout against Adam Janicek and Lake Superior State. They ended a 14-game losing streak against the Michigan Wolverines. Game ended in a 2-2 tie, but they won the shootout, got the bonus point in round six. Well, Jeff Jackson's Notre Dame Fighting Irish, they were on the road this past weekend. They played in Minnesota against the highly ranked Golden Gophers. And TJ Tynan, a great World Junior Tournament for him. He picked up right where he left off in the World Juniors. Tynan opened the scoring. Riley Shahan also had a big weekend, a couple of goals in that game against the Golden Gophers. Minnesota did rally. They came back to make it a one-goal game, but Notre Dame, in the end, picked up a 4-3 victory over the Golden Gophers in Minnesota. And certainly the Irish hockey team and their family, they played on with heavy hearts as the father of Notre Dame hockey. Former head coach Charles Lefty Smith passed away last week, January 3rd of natural causes. He was 81 years old. Of course, Lefty Smith started the program back at 1968. He coached Notre Dame for 19 years through the 86-87 season and had a record of 307, 320, and 31 during that time. He had just retired on New Year's Eve and then unfortunately four days later, Lefty Smith left us. We had a chance earlier this season, our CCHA Productions crew did, to catch up with Lefty Smith to get his thoughts and his memories of what it was like when he started the Notre Dame hockey program. And we were fortunate in the recruiting because of the, I think the name Notre Dame had a lot to do with it. And uh, the fact that we got some pretty good kids, kids like Bill Nyrup and Steve Curry and so on. And uh, uh, it had an impact on the uh, city because then they started, we started a youth program, and uh, that's grown quite a bit. But I look back and I think, you know, what kind of an idiot was I uh, to take the job because I not only had a coach, I had to run the rink, I had to uh, uh, <laughs> teach my ed, <laughs> we had to set up a youth program, <laughs> all that for $12,500. You can't go wrong, huh? <laughs> Well, time now to move on, and it's time for our CCHA profile this week, and it features former Miami Redhawks defenseman, now Los Angeles Kings defenseman, Alec Martinez. At the start of the week, Martinez had scored two goals and played in 22 games for the Los Angeles Kings. Here's a closer look now at Alec Martinez. I had a great, uh, great childhood growing up here in Detroit, and uh, 
I don't know. I got a lot of memories between pond hockey and uh, you know playing. In, uh, well, actually coming here to to see games. The Red Wings growing up. My uh, my old man had season tickets, so uh, I've been here a lot to watch. And then you know between playing there and, and youth hockey, and then in the CCHA, I got a lot of memories. Now Martinez will have it at the left point. It's a 3:48 remaining power play. Major in front of the net. Jump scores. And you can watch for the full profile. It will debut on Wednesday this week on CCHA.com. Moving on now, it's time to unveil our Players of the Week, and for that, we turn to Jeff Sell, who takes us through the offensive, defensive, goaltender, and the Rookie of the Week in the CCHA. Thanks, Ben, and this week's post-game offensive Player of the Week in the CCHA goes to David Wahlberg of the Michigan Wolverines. He tallied up two goals and three assists this past weekend in the series over Lake Superior. The Gladiator Defenseman of the Week belongs to Cameron Schilling of the Miami Redhawks. He tallied two assists and three blocked shots while also playing a major penalty killing role for the Red Hawks as they kill off 13 of 13 penalties against Michigan State. The CCHA goaltender of the week, also a Miami Red Hawk, that belongs to Connor Knapp of Miami. He stopped 33 shots on Friday night en route to a 2-1 overtime victory as well as 20 saves in a 4-0 shootout on Saturday night. And lastly, the Gong Show Rookie of the Week, also a Michigan Wolverine, goes to Alex Guptill. He had three assists and one goal over the weekend against Lake Superior State. That's all for now. I'm Jeff Sell for CCHA Now. Now back to you, Ben. Thanks a lot, Jeff. We'll check in with you next week right here on CCHA Now for our Players of the Week once again. Moving on now, the CCHA, of course, well represented in the USCHO poll. They have been well represented all year. And once again this week, still the same. Eight CCHA teams as we'll show you in the USCHO this week. And it starts at number two of the Ohio State Buckeyes. Notre Dame comes in at number three. And Western Michigan, they round out the top ten for the league at number ten after losing two at home against Minnesota Duluth. Ferris State continues to play well. They're 13th. Michigan, they're up to 15th, a spot up. Michigan State drops three down to 18th. Lake Superior, they're in at 19th. And Northern Michigan rounds it out at number 20, this week in the USCHO.com College Hockey Poll. We love the CCHA! Go Wildcats! Well, last week the Hockey and the D Tour made a stop up at Marquette at Northern Michigan University. And coming up this week, the first stop of 2012 will be down at Progressive Field in Cleveland for the big Michigan-Ohio State matchup. The CCHA Fan Fest and Hockey and the D will be there from 10 to 6 on Saturday with the game coming up at 5.15 on Sunday. Of course, you go back to the 01 Cold War when really Michigan and Michigan State showed the world how to set up and carry and cover an outdoor hockey game and then the big chill game last year. It has been a tremendous thing for the sport of hockey, not just collegiately, but across the board. Frozen Diamond faceoff this weekend as well. Alaska is at Ferris State, Miami's at Lake State, and Northern Michigan, they'll have a tough series at Michigan State against the Spartans. Well, among the many great features on CCHA.com, it's our CCHA Rewind. And Western Michigan and Notre Dame, they played a big series back in 2002 and 2003. Like they are now, the teams jumbled together into standings. Here's a look, a preview of this week's upcoming CCHA Rewind. Western zone, drops it off for Aaron Gill in the slot. Gill in deep, backhander, score! Aaron Gill, fine play by Golder to drop the pass off. Here's a pass ahead, springing on a breakaway. Kyle Golder moves in, shoots, score! Kyle Golder, and the Irish are up 2 to nothing. And if you'd like the full version of this week's CCHA Rewind, it will be available on cchacom on Thursday, so take a look at that. Always well done and well put together. TV schedule this weekend, another busy weekend around the CCHA, and it starts on Friday. Ohio State, they'll be home to host the Michigan Wolverines. That one will be on Big Ten Network. Also on Friday, Western Michigan at Notre Dame should be rocking down at the Compton Family Ice Arena. That one on CBS Sports Network. Northern Michigan and Michigan State, they're on the air on Saturday and on Sunday, of course, the outdoor game down at Progressive Field. Michigan and Ohio State beginning at 5 o'clock. That's on Fox Sports Detroit Plus. So a lot of great games this weekend, as is the case every weekend around the CCHA. If you want to keep tabs on the league even more, it's impossible not to do so. CCHA.com, Facebook, Twitter, all kinds of great ways 
to keep up to date and current with the CCHA. That's this week's installment of CCHA Now. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all of our crew. My name is Ben Holden. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you next week right back here with another edition of CCHA Now.